Uh, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I'm excited to give you guys another snippet from an up and coming interview that I have with Peter. He is the founder of e-commerce empire builders. He's built multiple million dollar businesses himself and he's helped others do the same. Now what's so interesting about this particular clip right here is it's something that I've talked about again and again but I really want you guys to get somebody else's perspective and it has to do with the psychology of how people make choices. This is what confuses people and I use this a lot, uh, but we have the attention span of goldfish, right? Like whether we all want to believe this or not, we do. Like the second you give people more than one option, your, 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 your sales will get lower. So if you only give your customers one option, you only have one t-shirt, even if you do it like launch style, hey, this month, this is our exclusive t-shirt that we're launching, right? It's only available this month. And once it's, this month is over, it's gone. You can never, ever, ever get this t-shirt again. That's a better model. That model will make you more money than if you just put in a hundred designs in your shop by store. Like I can tell you, if Logan Paul decided to do this, he would make a ridiculous amount more money because it creates the two biggest psychological triggers that people have when they buy is scarcity and urgency. And a lot of people fake it by putting timers on their websites or go, you only have one minute to buy. Like if you don't buy in this minute, this is gone. But then you wait a minute and then you could still buy it. Right. Like, well, at least with this, uh, like if Logan Paul did like launch style where right? it's like exclusive design, this hoodie is only available this week only. It'll never be able to be purchased again. I can guarantee you that hoodie, even if, if it was ugly, yeah. like would still sell because people would be like, Oh, Alec, I have this, piece of you know clothing that is never going to be in print again yeah yeah I, I love to hear you talking about this because it's just to have a different voice you know people probably get used to my voice on this channel and think that it's like bs when i really talk about options and diversity but this is really what i'm talking about like for people to understand that when you create options it literally it not just oh as an opinion it people the, the numbers go down Mm -hmm. truly go down think about it's called the de decision fatigue basically right you don't want to think how many times do you go to a restaurant and after a while you just you might say what's the best thing on the menu or what's good here it's because you might not you don't want to feel you don't want to go through all these things you don't you have a a cable subscription well you know today's you might not have a cable subscription today but you know people have cable and they don't look at all the channels they they just want three or four of the channels that's all they really watch same mm -hmm. for youtube you have a set of YouTube channels, there's so many other channels you don't you you watch you don't watch Apple, right? Apple literally takes so many decisions away for you versus Android, where you can kind of do whatever you want, but Apple streamlines a customer ex experience mm -hmm. for you know through a lot of limitation. So I, I'm just really glad to hear you talk about how it literally it does take sales down and too many options is a bad thing. People love to be like, as much as you don't want to believe it, it's true. Like people love to be told what to do. People, <laughs> yeah. no, they do. Like, yeah. like for example, like I, I know just the area that I live in, like food trucks are very popular here. Like mm -hmm. they're, they're famous for the food trucks, like great food truck. Guess what? When you go to these food trucks, you have one option. They don't serve a hundred different things in there. There's like one thing and they're, they're like, okay, this food truck makes meatballs, but they make the best meatballs. You can never get these meatballs as good as anywhere else as if you could from this food truck, right? I rather, like I tell us to people all the time, like I'd rather you be the best at selling like this, this spatula, right? Than anybody else. Just like, just be, if you're the best at selling the spatula, you'll, you'll, you will make a lot of money. Right, you just have to figure out how can you sell a spatula? How can you get people to come buy your spatula? Right, and it comes down to understanding your audience, your fans, whoever that's looking at you, right? Because you're not selling a spatula, right? You're selling a, 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 a solution, right? Like, what does a spatula do? Like, who's the people that we're selling it to? Maybe, like, the way if I'm gonna sell a spatula, like, some people think, oh, like, well, everybody has a spatula. Well, no, because I'm gonna be like, okay, who for, first? I start with who? Who am I gonna sell a spatula to? Because if I say I'm gonna sell it to everybody, I'm done. I'm toast because then I'm competing against Amazon. So I'm going to be like, okay, this spatula is a premium spatula designed only for people that love, uh, love cooking barbecue. And then I'll be like, okay, well, like they love cooking barbecue. What else can I add in here to help them cook a uh, great barbecue? Maybe I'll put like a, a, you know, a video guide together. Maybe I'll go interview like top five, you know, uh, grill masters or something and, be, and put that in there and give it to them for free to make sure when they get my spatula, that they're like, oh, you, they know exactly how to use it. They know, they have all this other information that they can never get 
anywhere else. So I know that's kind of uh, different from just like the merch, but it's still an important concept to grasp. Like you don't have to stress, like a lot of people stress themselves out and they think that like back to like tying your emotion to the result. They like what most people will do is, Oh, oh this shirt, nobody wants it. I'm just going to go design, design another one. Right? Like, no, that's, that's not true. Your, your, your delivery was probably what was wrong. Yes. Right. Not more. More is usually not better. All right. Again, that's a snippet from an interview I'm dropping soon. If you're watching this after I drop that interview, then the link in the description will be active and you'll be able to go to the full interview. But what's important about this concept is you have to understand that providing more does not necessarily mean it's making your customers happy. It doesn't necessarily mean you're making your business bigger, even if it looks like that in the short term. People will tell you that they want more and not actually mean it. It's the difference between what people say and their actual behavior. There's so many people out there who say they listen to all types of music, but if you, <clears throat> but then if you actually look at what they listen to and their actual behavior over the last year, you probably won't see that much diversity. And even if you, they have a lot of random things they have listened to, the vast majority of it, 95% of it, will probably be in only a few boxes. And there's hundreds of types of music. And the same goes with so many of these other choices. Choices. again and again you will find there's this huge gap between what people say and their actual behavior how many times you know somebody who said man if that was me I would have and then you over there looking at them like because you already know they wouldn't have if they were in that situation you got to understand that applies to more people and more scenarios than you could imagine but that's it for now if you like this video go ahead hit the like button if you like it might as well share and if you're not subscribed you know what to do Hit that subscribe button.